Hello. I am I am making this video because this may be the last communication of me ever on this world because I'm convinced I'm going to die because I really needed to do my laundry. I don't know who designed this place, but seriously, they put the laundry in the creepiest, darkest, most disturbing like horror movie location in the world. Alright, so I just wanted to do my laundry, she had a nice little laundry fairy, and then I needed to make British change with these weird coins I really don't understand, and it's taken me about 50 years just to figure out how to do laundry, but the problem is getting in and out of this place is really, really, really creepy. So as I try desperately to do my laundry, which may or may not work and blow up in my face, hold on. Okay, the laundry machine did not blow me up. That is actually surprising, because these machines are really weird looking and very suspicious. But, I will show you this creepy way. And if I am going to die, there is evidence of what happened to me. Let's see if I can get out of here with my life. And I will show you, because this is seriously creepy. So I'm in the laundry room right now. This is apparently where you do your laundry room in the creepy laundry room. But then you have to leave the laundry room and enter this really creepy hallway with a creepy laundry on it. All right. And it's really quiet because we're like in the 17th basement. And, and there's no one here down the creepy hallway. It just keeps getting darker and darker and darker. And I'm waiting for the mass murderer to show up at any moment. And all the doors creak. And there's no one in here either. Just more really sketchy things and then you have to go down another creepy hallway and hope that there's no one here to kill me. There's all these weird rooms that are labeled with things that I don't know what the labels are. There's the linen room and the communications plant room. I don't know what a communications plant room is. Is that where they communicate with the alien plant overlords? And here's the trunk store where you buy trunks. I'm not quite sure what that is either, but really quiet down here, and there's no one here, and it's really creepy. Okay, and here's a bunch of lockers where they probably hide the bodies. And I found the first staircase out of like 50. You just have to walk up the creep darky staircase and hope that no one's going to kill you. And then you gotta go down the kind of cheerful hallway that no one knows what these rooms are. If there's people living here or if this is where they hide the bodies too. I don't know. so often they have one of these. It says for use when entering the staircase. So when you kill the people, you can wash your hands. There's a, another door. Okay. Uh-oh, there's people around. Are they going to kill? 
kill me. No, no. Okay. I've successfully gotten to the outside, but let me show you something about the outside. The moment you get outside and you think you're going to live, you discover there's bars on everything. So you're trapped and you can't get out. Uh, I'm going to walk around and see where I get to. And it's quite lovely outside today. Though I'm not sure I've yet escaped, but I will try to show you how lovely it is outside today. If I can figure out how to turn this around, which really isn't that difficult, but isn't it a lovely day today? It's so beautiful, the sun. The sun is shining here at Cambridge, and so far I'm still alive, which is always a good positive thing. But let me tell you something else, is there are these signs now, I'll show you the sign because I'm about to get to one, there are these shines, let's say keep off the grass. But apparently people haven't been keeping off the grass lately, and so they've sprayed herbicide on all the grass, which they claim is for the good of the grass, but I'm convinced it is to uh, kill anyone who dares go on the grass, because here in the British, um, you don't go on the grass. I don't know why, but you don't go on the grass. No one goes on the grass. Bad things happen if you go on the grass. But look, isn't it lovely? It's so much better than the dark, creepy stairwell. But I still... I still have a long way to go to reach safety. This place is trying to kill me. I just wanted to do my laundry. Is that so bad? Is that so wrong? Worth trying to kill me over? <laughs> Just wanted to clean underwear. Is that so wrong? <laughs> some, some nice flowers. They're pretty flowers. They're too pretty. They're probably poisonous. <sighs> so, I'm passing the dorms now. There's tea. I don't live in tea. We have to keep wandering around a bit. And then, as we go a little further, we come, let's see, to R. I don't live in R either. So we have to walk around. Look at this, it's so beautiful. Look how nice it is. Oh, look at Cambridge. Isn't Cambridge so nice? Isn't it so nice? It's so nice. Mm -hmm. and then... We reach another dark and creepy place. This is Q. Q dorm with the wooden stairs. That creek, when you go up them. So they alert all the killers that you are coming. And I live on the top floor, which is really, really high. And all the way up all the stairs. So if they can't kill me with they're creepy places and poison wands and stuff. They'll give me a heart attack. Up the stairs. Ooh. All the way up the stairs. Ooh. All the way up the stairs. It's really, really, really high. Really high. This is uh, my room.
the room. I'm not dead. Which is really wonderful. It's a great, great accomplishment in your day to be not dead. It's like people always complain that life is terrible, so I'm like, you're not dead. It's a good thing. Here we have my room. There's a nice bed that's not yet made. And beautiful, shiny things. Going around a bit. Walking around my closets. My food. My door. My, my sink closets, cause which are actually really nice. Everyone needs sink closets with with two faucets that make no sense. <laughs> so you can burn your hand off of one while uh, giving yourself frostbite with the other. It's very nice, very nice. And so I can show you. Outside my window is the backyard. Well, the back alleyway. And there's people and cars down there that love to ride by at about mm, 4 a.m. Especially the motorcycles. They, they like to ride by at 4 a.m. too a lot. Um, which is always appreciated, of course. I, I wasn't planning on sleeping anyways at 4 a.m. Who sleeps at 4 a.m.? But there's no screens, so I can literally just lean out the window and actually probably walk around a bit. I could if I really felt like it. Actually, there's a nice little ledge there. Thought we'd get in trouble. But it'd be really cool. So, I've survived so far. Unless there's in invisible ninjas in my room ready to kill me, which is always a possibility. But, uh, that's the terror I have to face every day if I want to do the laundry. Seriously, it's it's terrifying doing the laundry here in Cambridge in England could cost you your life yep only three weeks to go hopefully I'll make it <laughs>